welcome class now in this video we are trying to complete our practical number 10c the practical number 10c asks you to create a web application to demonstrate use of various ajax control now what is the ajax ajax stands for asynchronous javascript and xml it has been used for the sake of creating the flickr free pages it means what whenever you are submitting the page the entire postback occurs and the entire page get reloaded we don't want the entire page should get reloaded we won't want only the part of the page should get reloaded the ajax has been implemented everywhere on the google also you will find the ajax has been implemented google map the ajax has been implemented so everywhere you will find nowadays we are using the ajax then asp.net also provides you various controls with the help of which we are able to go for implementing the ajax so let's start considering how we can implement ajax so i go for given a click on file new and planning to create a new project here i am creating my asp.net web application and uh, in this web application i would like to demonstrate the use of various ajax controls now what are the various ajax controls which are available in the asp dot the ajax control which are available they are termed as script manager script manager proxy update panel sorry update panel update progress and timer so these are what the various ajax control which are available i am just creating the new web form and i would like to show you the use of the ajax control first i will show you what is with ajax and what is without ajax so here it comes these are what various types of controls which are available under this you will find a category named as what your ajax extension and the controls which are right now named namely script manager script manager proxy timer update panel and update progress these are the controls which are been given by the asp.net they are termed as what your ajax control now script manager and script manager proxy are the logical controls they are not physical controls it means whenever you are executing the page those controls are not visible to you on the page but when we are using our timer or update panel or update progress then these two controls must be added on our page now everybody knows we have three types of pages one is our regular web form which is created by me over here second is the master page and third is a contained page so when you are using a regular web form or maybe the master page then on that page you will be adding the script manager but if you are using the contained page then on the master page you will be adding the script manager and on a contained page you will be adding the script manager proxy so this way you will be adding the control now first uh, i would like to show you and demonstrate to the ease of your timer so if i would like to use a timer first i need to add the script manager so i had added the script manager over here and then i am using the timer control over here now what is the use of timer control the timer control is having a very very important property called the interval which has been given in milliseconds so 60000 millisecond equal to 6 seconds 60 seconds right so i am just keeping over here as 5000 milliseconds that is 5 seconds time gap and timer control must be enabled true now i am just adding one label over here where the current time need to be displayed so i am just adding a label over here where current time need to be displayed and a text box where the user will be what entering the name just a small designing i am trying to go for implementing timer control is having a very very important uh, event that is called as a tick event and whatever you write inside a tick event get executed after the given time interval so current time interval is what here 5 seconds so after every 5 seconds the tick event code is getting executed on that i am planning to display label 1 dot text equal to then i am providing new date time dot or date time ke jagah pe i can provide over here date time dot now dot uh, two short time string or two long time string 
So I'm using what two long string thing. Now I'm just planning to go for running this page. Please try to focus what is happening. After every five second, the label will be displaying the current time. So if you're focusing on this part of the page, please focus on this part of the page. Now first the page is getting loaded. Then if I'm trying to enter some value inside my form elements. So if I'm trying to type some contains over here as a, all right, what is happening? The entire page get reloaded once again, right? If I'm again trying to type over B, then C or maybe any value B, C, what is happening in between? After every five seconds, the timer control stick event is getting occurred and the entire page get reloaded. So please focus. What is happening? The entire page get reloaded, but I don't want that. I want only this part of the page must be reloaded. Not the entire page should get reloaded. And for that reason, we are using a Ajax control, namely update panel and update progress. So let us start focusing how we are using update panel and update progress. I am just removing all the controls. I had told you right now what do you mean by flickering. So flickering means what? The entire page get reloaded is called as what you are flickering. When you're going to Google, you're typing some kind of search query. When you're going to Facebook, you're going to give a click on the like. Does it mean that the entire page get posted back? No, only the part of the page get reloaded. So this is possible by using the concept of Ajax. And we can implement the Ajax by using first adding the script manager into normal pages or the master pages. But if you are using the contained pages, then on a master page, you have to add the script manager. And on the contained page, you have to add the script manager proxy. So as this is the regular page, I'm interested in going for adding the script manager over here. Just it is design time control, no need to set up any kind of properties over here. Now further, what I want, I want only that part of the page should get reloaded. So I'm using over here the concept called the update panel. Right? So this is what the update panel, which is what being added by me. Now inside this update panel, what I'm doing, I'm planning to add my timer control because only this panel need to be updated. At the same time, I'm adding over here one label, right? And whatever I'm writing inside a tick event is getting executed after the specified time interval. So first I'm writing the code over here by saying label one dot text equal to date time dot now dot to long time string fine so this part of the page is what been completed by me as well as i'm going to timer i'm going to its properties i'm providing the interval as 1000 milliseconds so after every 1000 milliseconds that means after every one second the tick event is getting executed and the timer will be updating the values on the label and outside the update panel i'm entering my text box where the user will be entering some values. Now I just run the page. Please start focusing earlier what used to happen. You can rewind the video and you can check the entire page get reloaded. But now what is happening? I'm entering some value inside my text box here. See my, I'm having a focus in my text box and other upper deck, okay, what is happening? The timer stick event is getting occurred. My page is not getting reloaded. Only the part of page is getting reloaded and the beauty of the control called as update panel. So what are the Ajax extension controls are there? Ajax extension controls are there, namely script manager need to be added in a regular web page or inside a master page. Script manager proxy need to be added in the content page, but it must be added. The script manager must be added inside the master page. Timer, everybody had seen that. Update panel, everybody has seen. And now we need to understand the update progress. Now to understand the update progress, I am just planning to go for adding the additional content and trying to write a small page. Now, what is happening on my entire page? There are many forms which are been available. And I want only the part of the page should get reloaded. So I had added my script manager. I had added my update panel and inside the update panel, what is happening? I'm planning to add some 
two text boxes for accepting the values. This is the first text box. This is the second text box. Uh, two numbers will be accepted by me or maybe the user ID and password will be accepted by me. When I give a click on a button, the checking of the username password will be done by us and the output will be done on the label or two numbers have been added and displayed on the label. Now this I am doing it inside the update panel. At the same time, this I am doing it without this update panel. So what is without the update panel and what is with the update panel? You can see the difference what is happening. So I'm having two text boxes uh, set inside update panel and two text boxes set inside the update panel, outside the update panel and inside the update panel. I'm writing the same, same code. Please try to focus what I would like to show you. So on a button, I had written a very, very simple code as label one dot text equal to text box one dot text plus text box two dot text. It is not doing the addition. It is just doing what you have concatenation. That means Abhay and Mori will be Abhay Mori simply. Same way for this button also, I'm writing label two dot text equal to text box three dot text plus text box four dot text just see the difference because of update panel what is happening and without the update panel what is happening so i run the page once again the first set is inside the update panel and second set is what outside the update panel so here i am entering the values in my first text box and in my second text box please look at in this particular ratio when i give a click on a button only the output get displayed over here. Now, please, please focus over here. When I give a click on a button, what is happening? The page is getting reloaded because this is what without the update panel. Now, what I'm doing, I'm doing a small task. Now, currently this machine is a server and this machine itself is a client. Yahi machine server hai, yahi machine client. Right, to speed to achha hi rahega. Upar se machine bhi performance achha deta hai. But whereas, if suppose network mein hamlo baat karenge, to server kaha pe located hamlo ko malum ni. Server kaha to lambe located rahega, to uska response bhi late aane wala. To abhi mein ek illusion create karta hoon, jaha pe response late aane wala. So what I am doing, I am just writing a simple code by saying system.threading.thread.sleep and I am sleeping for 5000 milliseconds. And over here also, I am planning to go for sleeping for 5000 milliseconds by saying system dot threading dot thread dot sleep 5000 milliseconds and here I am planning to run my page please start focusing what is happening now I am entering my first text box some value in my second text box some value so entering some value in the first text box entering some value in the second text box I had given a click on a button no output is getting displayed because the system is sleeping for 5000 milliseconds and i am confused what is happening so output to aage aage but 5 seconds ke baad mein aaya and when i am entering over here what is happening it is showing me over here loading 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 the user knows that there is something happening in background user ko maloom hai kuch na kuch to kya ho raha hai background mein run ho raha hai so that need to be what we can say being checked. Right? So here is the benefit that we know that the user has to wait for something. There is something happening in the background. But the problem is here that when you click on it, there is no loading or anything. So you are not knowing what is happening. So the user gives a go on giving a click on the button because nothing is happening. So I go on, there should be some message to be displayed to the user. The user should have some message to the user if he in the given time me output nahi aya to. So that's the reason what we are doing. We are trying to work with another control which is named as your update progress. So for that reason we have another control which is named as update progress. So update progress is a control which is associated with the update panel. So I'm just adding the update progress control over here and maybe I'm displaying the message over here as Please wait. I would like to display some GIF image to give a good look and feel. So here it comes. I am trying to go for adding the image control over here. 
and uh, specifying some image over here that need to be added inside my solution explorer. So let us try to find any kind of good images there, GIF images there with me or not. So I am just searching over here asterisk dot GIF and you will find a lot of GIF images are there. Uh, over here this is what loading loading is one GIF image. I just plan to run this image and would like to check how exactly it looks. I am very much happy with this image. So what I do, I just copy this image and pasted this image. You can download it from the web and pasted this image inside my web project. So I paste this image inside my web project and now this image get added inside your image control. Fine, the task has been over. So this image and please wait is what been added inside a control named as update progress. Please focus what exactly we are doing in update progress. Update progress need to be associated with the update panel. We have an update panel named as update panel 1. Ye kya tha? Ye update panel 1 tha. So what I am doing, this associated update panel, I had mentioned over here as update panel 1. Further, display after. Matlab 500 milliseconds tak agar output nahi aya server se, to fir update progress ke andar ka content dikha. Agar 500 milliseconds ke andar aa gaya, to problem nahi hai kuch bhi. Maybe for our understanding, I mentioned as 1500 milliseconds tak agar output nahi aya, to wo update progress ka content dikha na hai, jab tak output nahi aata hai, tab tak. So once the output get displayed, once again the update progress is what been uh, hidden. So I just run the page. The user ko thoda sa waiting time bata ne ke liye hum log kya karte rahe abha? Update progress control ke liye use karte. So that is the purpose we are using the update progress. So I entered some text, I had entered some text, I had given a click on a button. 1500 milliseconds over and it starts showing the update progress. Once the output get displayed, update progress is what? will be uh, then stop. Again, I give a click on the button. 1500 milliseconds happens. The output does not come. So the update progress content is shown. There is no problem over here because the entire page get reloaded. The browser itself shows you loading, 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 loading. But that does not happen whenever you are using the Ajax control. Ajax control only update the part of the page. So when that part of the page is getting uploaded, Right, getting updated till the time there has to be some waiting message given to the user and that's the use of your update progress. So currently in this video, we had seen the Ajax extension control script manager, script manager proxy, timer, update panel and update progress. Class, please practice this thing because one practical may come for the Ajax also. So thanks a lot, beat you with us and please subscribe the channel.